Hi, I'm Melinda Rose. And I'm Laura Marshall, and this is Light Matters for September 14th, 2011. In this week's Five Minutes to Enlightenment, geneticists monkey around with cats, squeezed light could boost gravitational wave detection, BMW aims to introduce laser-powered headlights, and a fat-melting laser could erase acne. Researchers at the Mayo Clinic aim to create feline AIDS-free cats and say their research could provide valuable information in the human fight against AIDS. Millions of cats die from feline immunodeficiency virus, or feline AIDS, each year. It is hoped that the study can eventually assist in the conservation of wild feline species, all 36 of which are endangered. In the study, researchers sought to mimic the way evolution normally gives rise over vast time spans to protective protein versions. They first inserted a rhesus monkey protein, known to block cell infection by feline AIDS, into the cat genome. The addition of a fluorescent jellyfish protein that makes the offspring cats glow green allows the effects of the protein to be studied and its progression tracked. It was the first time the technique, which involves inserting genes into feline eggs before sperm fertilization, succeeded in a carnivore. The cats with the protective genes are thriving and have produced kittens whose cells make the proteins, proving that the inserted genes remain active in successive generations. A new technique uses squeezed laser light to improve the sensitivity of gravitational wave detectors. Such light overcomes the noise problem and improves the accuracy of the detector by 50%, which could help astronomers observe the ripples in space for the first time. Roman Schabel and his colleagues in the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory collaboration, known as LIGO, hope to detect these transient ripples using a global network of observatories. Each would measure tiny variations in the distance traveled by two halves of a laser beam that has been split along perpendicular arms of a Michelson interferometer. To date, the magnitude of change induced by a gravitational wave is dwarfed by the noise generated by quantum mechanical fluctuations of its light beams. But using squeezed light, which exploits a loophole in the laws of quantum mechanics, has allowed for the reduction of the fluctuations in one characteristic of the light by increasing the fluctuations in another. BMW said it will incorporate its first laser-based headlights into the i8 concept car, which currently has LED lamps. The company said laser light is the next logical step in the development of vehicle headlight technology and could become a reality in the next few years. Monochromatic and coherent, laser light can produce a near parallel beam with an intensity a thousand times greater than that of conventional LEDs, but with less than half the energy consumption, saving fuel. BMW said that while the lasers would generate very bright and white light, about 170 lumens compared to the 100 lumens of LEDs, its intensity in headlights poses no risk to humans or wildlife because the original bluish light is not emitted directly, but first converted using a fluorescent phosphor material into a pure white light that is suitable for use in road traffic. The individual laser diodes will be 10 microns long, about 100 times smaller than the cells used in conventional LED lighting. That theoretically means the size of the headlights could be radically reduced, although BMW said it has no plans to do so. Instead, they are thinking that the size advantages could be used more in headlight positioning and body styling. For those who are concerned about the safety of laser headlights and want an objective view, we've uh, posed some questions to laser safety experts. That's right, and we hope to bring those answers to you in next week's show. A new laser designed to melt fat without burning surrounding tissue shows promise for acne treatment. The laser's 1,708 nanometer infrared beam takes advantage of a unique wavelength that fat absorbs more efficiently than water can. It can penetrate skin with minimal harm on its way to reaching and destroying deeper pockets of fat. Researchers at the University of Michigan believe that the laser can also target the oil-producing sebaceous glands involved in acne production, and they've already performed experiments on human samples. They found that the laser, which is the size of a DVD player, can reach glands more than 1.5 millimeters beneath the skin. Previous experiments used a building size free electron laser, but the university's Muhammad Islam applied his expertise in fiber optics to the construction of a compact and economical laser using off-the-shelf telecommunications technology. And before we go, we'd like to point out that the September issue of Biophotonics magazine is in the mail now with a cover story that unlocks secrets of optical absorption. And you still have a chance to win an iPad, too. Simply share the link to this video or any episode of Light Matters with a friend or colleague by September 30th, and make sure you copy lightmatters at photonics.com on the email you send, and you'll be entered into a drawing to win an iPad, too. You'll find a link to do just that below the Light Matters player on our homepage. We'd also like to hear from you. Please send your questions or comments to lightmatters at photonics.com. You can also follow Photonics Media on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, because it's only five minutes to enlightenment. 
Well, I'm very interested in um, the equations written down by James Clark Maxwell in 1864-ish. And I've spent a lot of my time trying to figure out how um, electric and magnetic fields travel in different kinds of materials and working out um, interesting um, structures and devices. And I'm absolutely fascinated by this new type of material called metamaterial and how uh, if you really go back to the time of Eddington and general relativity, there are lots of things that we're talking about now were staring us in the face but we just t couldn't get down to seeing it and it's called transformation optics and what does it do it helps you to design materials that will take light along the path you want it to go and it will avoid things that you want to be avoided and hence you can hide things called invisibility and it's a beautiful development and it's becoming very active now uh, and spreading to all kinds of disciplines including medicine